Hello mga kahabis, hello guys no? Hello to my subscribers in YouTube and in Facebook Well in any case, no, um, COVID is still rampant today And I hope you're all safe no? in the Philippines no? Especially in Metro Manila or in the NCR I live there, so that's why we don't really go out that much My family and I don't really go out that much So um, groceries lang and when I buy some of my medicines no. So they basically no, marami tayong time to do vlogs, medyo minsan tinatamad lang. <laughs> but uh, I am obliging some of your requests, no. Um, I am discussing today uh, a 90s player. His name is Penny Hardaway. As we all know, Penny Hardaway is similar to Grant Hill during that time, uh, during the 90s where they really exploded, their prices of their cards exploded, no. They were highly collected by my collectors, no, at that time, no. Uh, itong ang finest yan to it was really sought after no well penny hardaway was drafted no in uh, in 1993 into 1994 he was drafted in 1993 um, rookie of the year hindi siya naging nanalo na rookie of the year that award was given to chris weber who was drafted first overall by the orlando magic okay but when but or the Orlando Magic really wanted Penny Hardaway no to team up with Shaquille para kasing um Penny Hardaway played uh, pick up basketball or trained with the Orlando Magic and they were impressed no and they wanted someone na parang ang mangyayari would be the point guard of their the future for them no or the SG or a PG for for Shaquille O'Neal to team up with Shaquille O'Neal so basically, the Orlando Magic traded that right, that the rights to Chris Webber to the Golden State Warriors, who drafted Penny Hardaway in the, at the in uh, third overall, third overall. Second pick was Sean Bradley, who was drafted by the the Seventy Sixers. No, so he got he just got an uh, he he he's now paralyzed. Uh, he can't walk because he had an accident, a bike accident, a few months back. No, kawawa naman. Well, in any case, no, the reason why I, I oblige, no, kasi dito yung makikita, no, you would be able to see the trend in collecting basketball cards. Wala kasing kasiguraduhan yan. There's no such thing as a sure thing when it comes to newer players, no. In 1993, in 1994, Penny Hardaway was a new player. He was um, considered to be the next coming of Magic Johnson. That's why his cards really exploded, and rightly, rightfully so, because he was really pretty good. He even had a doll named after him um, called Little Penny. No, sobrang galeng ni Penny Hardaway, much like how Grant Hill was at that time. No, but but si si Hardaway kasi was considered as the next coming of Magic Johnson, while Grant Hill was the second coming of Ma Michael Jordan. No, when when Michael Jordan retired. Marami talagang lumabas na players na ganun, no? Na, na lumabas na ganun, even just for two years, no? Um, well, um, we, as we all know, na, na bumaba na rin ang cards ni Penny Hardaway significantly um, because of the fact that uh, he got injured, no? He got injured and it was, he was never the same, no? Since he got injured. Kasi marapakarami niyang naging operations sa kanyang ankles. And I think both of them, eh, both ankles, no? That's why yung longevity niya hindi ganun kahaba. Mas mahaba hill, uh, mas kilala, no? Mas kilala ng mga newer collectors. Um, and some actually still collect him, no? But a lot of people still collect Penny Hardaway, but hindi ganun kamahal ang cards niya compared to Grant Hill. Hindi naman ganun kalaki yung difference. The difference is not that uh, big. But the thing is, it has gone down significantly. Especially before, even Grant Hill, uh, his cards have gone down. But hindi ka mukha nung kay Hardaway, malaki na talaga binaba. But still, he still, st see, some of his cards are still highly collected, no? For set builders and marami pa rin siyang fans, no? Kaya hindi na naman sobrang baba na parang wala nang, wala nang halaga yung cards niya. Compared to Steve Francis's cards, no? Talagang halos wala nang kumukuha, no? Uh, that's another story for another time, no? Kasi ang cards naman are, are always dependent on demand. And meron pa rin demand for Hardaway cards for for um, for the nostalgic people who still collect him, no? Well, 
uh, ngayon no itong itong kamukha nitong card na to I'll be showing off some of them no some of my cards but ko konti lang because I really never collected I didn't really collect a lot of uh, penny hardaways I used them pag nakakakuha ako use them for trades I sometimes I sell them but mostly I just kept some of them no B- pretty ko konti lang talaga it's not that much no um itong card na to as I've mentioned is so high at that time kasi this was the inaugural a uh, finest no um, this is his rookie card rookie finest inaugural pa um, ang mahal nito at that time were his card and Chris Webber's no especially of course Michael Jordan but itong card na to was pretty much sought after especially the refractor version this is not the refractor version so yun yung sinasabi ko no if you invest on cards no um, it doesn't really follow that it will go up kahit na maganda pa laro ng player no um, I could mention names of pretty, pretty, pretty good players um, today that are new in the game, but we don't know what will happen in the future. So you have to be careful in buying two, 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 two hyped up players, especially those who are playing great. No, you have to uh, be able to know when to buy, as I mentioned before, no, during my uh, in my other vlogs, and when not to buy. So, pagkatitingnan nyo rin Titingnan nyo rin kung injury prone sila or hindi Makikita nyo naman sa laro nila The way they play, the way they And if their team would really win the championship That's another factor Well, uh, basically I sh- As I've mentioned, no, I shall be discussing Some of my cards of Penny Hardaway Ko konti lang to I'll tell you their, the, some of their values And their values During the 90s as well No Oh, kasi karamihan dito or 90s to be honest but they're not that much no they're not that much so okay so let's go and find out the cards that I have of uh, Mr. Penny Little Penny Hardaway okay let's go so yes ito na nga yung mga cards ko ni Penny Hardaway no I am just going to show you six of my cards of Penny Hardaway they really don't have a lot of them I really didn't collect him no it's not that I didn't like him, it's just they were too expensive for me and I was getting more cards of other players like I, I had I had a parang I had a um, semi PC of Grand Hill at a certain point. Na hindi naman ganun kaganda but uh, I I tried collecting more of Grand Hill because he was the next coming of Michael Jordan. He was touted as the next coming of Michael Jordan. So I I I, I gravitated towards a Grand Hill. As I mentioned, si Penny Hardaway kasi is more into the second coming of uh, Magic Johnson, no? So, well, basically, ang pinaka naman importante, the most important um, card of any PC is his rookie card, no? Ang rookie card, the best rookie card of Penny Hardaway's is is his finest rookie. This, the finest rookie, this finest is from the inaugural finest um, release, no? Which was released in 1993 to 1994. So, ang mga mahal dito was the, is the Jordan, the Bird, those veterans, and Weber, and Fernie Hardaway. So, yeah, no, nabebenta to before for around two to three thousand pesos. Kasi nga hot siya. He, he was a hot rookie. He was a hot prospect. Uh, but now, uh, although it's still valued at twenty dollars Beckett, no, this could be sold for about. To, to 300 to, to 300 pesos to 500 pesos siguro that's the most expensive that you could uh, that's the most expensive that you could get to so um, 10 dollar stops no 5 to 10 dollar stops so yun na lang yung value nito compared to the before no in 1993 2000 to 3000 which is about 60 dollars was pretty expensive for a card okay so ayan yung refractor nito mas oh, mas maganda wala ko noon i don't have that no. I bought that for just 200 pesos during the early 2000s. Kasi I wanted to get one. Oh nga pala before I forget. This is uh the inaugural version of finest and uh, the the sets after that um are prone to discoloration, nagi green, no. Is kahit na yung chrome cards 96, 97, 97, 98, they turn green. They they're hulking in other words, no. That's what they what that, that's what collectors uh, say, no ganun nila describe yung card ng mga ganyan but ito hindi masyadong well it's discolored it's not that hindi naman ganun kaitim na yung card but that's acceptable right now um, I had two of those yan na lang ang tinabi ko yung isa binenta ko na lang ito tinabi ko so yun no 
So, the next few cards that I will be showing off are his rookies, no? Ito yung draft pick niya for Skybox. No, ayan, nakalagay, right, rights traded to Orlando. I mean, he was drafted by the Golden State Warriors and his rights were traded to the Orlando Magic during draft day. No, so, in exchange for, for Chris Webber. Okay? Ito naman yung uh, draft din niya, draft card din niya. Uh, from hoops naman no this is from this is from skybox this is from hoops alam ko ano to eh this from the redemption program this is also from i think this was hindi naman to redemption i don't think it's a redemption it they were inserted in, inserted into packs this is called the uh, tops black gold parallel of his tops rc so rookie year na parallel to i really wanted to have this card so much so badly nakuha ko to early 2000s na rin kasabay nitong finest eh I think for 200 pesos then, if I'm not mistaken. Mababang mababa si Penny Hardaway during that time because he was already injured. He was playing for the um, the Phoenix Suns and he was on and off because of injuries, no. Um basically kasi kaya bumaba naman talaga si Penny Hardaway. He was traded for to the Suns, no, from the Magic to the Suns because Jason Kidd wanted to play alongside him, but his ankles were not really that uh, well at that time. That's why his card tapered. Talagang bumabana and then he was he never re really recovered. No, he got traded from from the Suns to the Knicks to the Heat. He ended his career in 2007. That's why his cards are not that expensive compared to Grant Hill. No, even though parehas parehas na derail lang career, career nila because of uh, injuries. It's because of the fact that uh, mas matagal nagdaro si Grant Hill. Mas, mas, naging, mas significant siya na nakapaglaro ng mas matagal compared to Penny Hardaway which is sad because he had all the potential in the world no ito namang card na to came out in 95 1996 no or 1996 i think no uh, ano to eh uh, uh, Kenny, Kevin Garnett's rookie season no this was the first one of the first um, autographs for NBA cards no um, this came from a redemption program um, you would get a redemption card from SPX, no? This is, that's the brand. And then you would trade that or mail away that uh, redemption card to Upper Deck for a Penny Hardaway autograph, no? Kasi na, yun na napanalunan mo, yun na, na pull mo. These cards are inserted into, uh, itong cards na to, you know, iisa lang. This is one of the most expensive uh, cards at that time. Kasi hologram, hologram. Um, one per pack ang card nito. Um, if you open a pack, you only get one card. No? So, itong card na to, as I mentioned, it came from a redemption program. No? It's pretty rare to come by. O medyo mahirap. This is valued at 100 Beckett. No? Tinam nyo yan. No? It's, it's pretty hard to get into in good condition as well. No? But basically, maganda pa yung pirma. It's still uh, crisp and it's still colored blue. Walang discoloration. Normal lang yung mga fade na yan because of the pen that was used and this, the the surface of the card, no? So, yan. Basically, yan yun, no? Um, uh, ano ba to? 100 Beckett value. Wawala ako. 100 Beckett value, but it sells for about $300 on eBay. Some, para may natapos ang $350 pa nga. So, let's say 15,000 pesos. So, let's say 10 to 15 Magkano ko lang nakuha to? 1,000 pesos during the early 2000s as well. Um, nabili ko to in, in Robinson's Galleria locally. Um, someone was peddling off the card to sell. Nobody wanted it. During that time, ang hot was Kwame Brown. <laughs> so, sabi ko, I had 1,000 pesos or $20 in my pocket. I decided to buy Nostalgia. So, as I mentioned, itong card na to nung binili ko, nobody wanted it because... In 2001, he was already with the Suns. And mababa na talaga yung demand for him. But right now, tumaas because of nostalgia, people who uh, collected before came back and collect his car collected his cards again. No? So, although hindi ganit kasing taas nga or kasing in demand ni Grant Hill. So, for, for information, for your information, ang style itong card na to is parang ito yung uh, authenticity. Ito yung um, holo, uh, what do call this? It is, ito yung serial number. Hologram na serial number. Ayun. Dapat parehas with the authenticity card and the card. Yung sticker ng card. 
So, bad 65820. Parehas. Alright. So, yun. Basically, yun. No? Um, mataas siya before. This could sell for... I don't know. Siguro about 10 to 15,000 din during that time. Eh, magkano ko lang nakuha to. So, I bought the dip when it was really dipping. No? As I mentioned, ang hot noon was uh, Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown, Eddie Curry, Eddie Griffin. <laughs> Next up would be a new, a new autograph from Panini, from Panini Select 2015-16. Penny Hardaway actually um, auto, uh, signed a lot of cards for Panini. Uh, marami na siguro siyang time no, to, to sign cards because currently he's the coach of the Memphis Tigers for the um, a, a, uh, ACC, you know, for the ACC program of the NCAA in the US. No? Um, that's why he still he has work. No? He has work. But he signed a lot of cards for Panini. Marami. Kaya hindi ganun kataas yung mga cards niya for Panini. Ito kasi yun ang una eh. That's why it's really in demand. This one could sell for about three to 4,000 to 5,000 pesos siguro kaya naman. Uh, but this is only valued at $40 Beckett. Okay. So there, no? There you go. This is number 299. Magkano kung nakuha yan? I don't think that I got it for even for, I don't know, less than 1,000 or so when it came out. Uh, mga bago kasing collectors don't know him <laughs> but basically no matatawa ka no a lot of people who don't know Penny Hardaway don't know that um, Tracy McGrady actually patterned his uh, game to from from Penny Hardaway that's why he wore number one uh, sa jersey niya jersey number one si Anthony Simons naman he was named sa kanya so galing sa kanya yung name niya so, yung tatay siguro ni Anthony Simons from the Portland Trail Trailblazers is a fan of Penny Hardaway. That's why we're old. <laughs> so, basically yun, no? So, two thumbs up. So, hopefully, the one who uh, requested for this, um, who is a subscriber, uh, would be happy, no? So, hindi na ako shout out. <laughs> Alam mo na kung sino ka. Iisa lang naman na nag-request ito, but I obliged because I wanted to show to to my subscribers how volatile um, cards are especially for sports cards no well sports cards talaga because it's it's always dependent on how the player would perform how would the, the career of that player would pan out and the demand kung meron pa rin demand in the future um, if you think about it no just for argument purposes no um, si, si Steve Francis had a pretty good career as well But no one wants his cards now At least kay Penny meron But if that if you're collecting a certain player For example, a new player today you know, Who's still a rookie or a sophomore or a junior in the NBA You wouldn't really know if that his career would pan out And if his, the demand for him would still be there in 10 to 15 years so pre be very careful what you on on when you buy and who you buy and you have to look at if he is injury prone or not in other words it's a gamble so be very careful in investing or in buying in collecting kasi kahit na ano pa sabihin ninyo masakit sa isang collector na ang cards niya mawala na, na mawala yung halaga nila in the future kahit na ano pa sabihin ninyo masakit yung sa isang collector so yeah you always buy the dip. That's why I was able to buy this for 1,000 pesos. Then I kept it. No? Um, nangyayari din. Nagkakamali rin din ako. I, had, I have vlogs to, to, to show that off. Na nagkakamali rin ako. But basically, with Penny Hardaway, I was able to buy his cards at their dips. No? Hindi ko nabili ito nung mahal because I didn't have any, any money to do that. Because I was still, for one, I was still, I, that was my first foray into working. So, yung mababa lang as well do natin. And I didn't have enough money to buy cards, no? So, nabili ko to medyo late na. Which is a good thing. So, I bought Nostalgia and it went up. Itong mga to, tumaas na itong mga to since I bought them. Kahit ito, tumaas lang na about 300 or 200 pesos. But still, I didn't buy it at 2 to 3,000, no? So, ito, sinuwerte tayo. Sinuwerte tayo rito sa Penny Hardaway ng SPX na yan. So, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you would subscribe to my channel. And click that bell button for you to be updated whenever I have new 
content or new vlogs. No? Thank you very much again and hope to see you again on my next vlog or vlogs. Thank you very much. Two thumbs up and good day.